It looks like this match is going to be a duel of lashing weapons, with Yuri Yurishima twirling his fishing line and Kurama wielding his trademark rose whip. This one's gonna be all about skill. <laughs> Kurama needs to stop fooling around and start fighting for real. What? He's whip swinging like a maniac. Have you learned anything? <sighs> it's Kurama's obnoxious habit. He never creates his own strategy until he fully understands his opponents. Peculiar. Yura Yurishima doesn't even seem to be trying. Kurama, keep fighting as you listen to me. I have a favor to ask. Telepathic communication. I don't believe that's legal in the ring. I'm begging you, please kill me! Don't stop fighting or they'll get suspicious! Why? When I joined this team, I had no idea what I was getting into. I needed money to support my sick grandmother, and Shishi Wakamaru promised me riches. At first it was just stealing, which I knew was wrong, but then things got worse. They convinced me to do many things I'm not proud of, though I know I have no one to blame except my own weak disposition. But I can't go on. For the first time in my life, I'm doing the right thing. Suicide is not the answer. There is neither honor nor redemption in that. You don't understand, Kurama. If I don't kill you, they're gonna hurt my poor grandmother. But this guilt I feel is too much for me to bear. As I watch my teammates fall today, I realize that being killed in battle is the only way out. Please take pity on a lost soul. I'll help you, but not by death. This world has enough of that. You can keep your life as long as you change the way you live it. It's never too late. Believe me. As for your grandmother's well-being, we can fake your death. I can sting you with my rose whip in a manner which will knock you out temporarily. You are indeed a good man, Karama. <laughs> oh. Here we go! Yes. <laughs> what? choke back some major chunks while I was pretending to be an upstanding citizen. But does it feel good to be bad again? You're gonna die just like Grandma! <laughs> Come on, Karama. Give me some credit here. You didn't think I was really trying to hit you with those attacks, did you? Hook, line, and sinker. And you're the stupid fish. This was not part of my job description. Isn't there anybody who can break me out of this thing? I'm not supposed to be in here. And before you get any ideas, know that my force field won't be shredded nearly as easily as that enchantress Ruka's. In fact, it's impossible to break out from the inside. So get comfortable. And let me introduce you to the Idun Box! Anybody other than the possessor who breathes its air will quickly return to their younger age. Back to those awkward adolescent years, the terrible twos, or even infancy. Once infected, you'll be so tiny and inexperienced, it'll be like taking candy from a... Oh well, there's no point in cliche expressions. You'll see soon enough what I mean. <laughs> You can't hold your breath forever! <laughs> Why isn't that stuff coming any closer? Is it scared? Maybe you don't understand the concept of force field. Poopy, how do they expect us to watch with that smoke everywhere? And why is it? The less I see, the more I want it! No clue, sir. <laughs> Way to go, Jira. I really did it. 
I can feel his spirit energy getting weaker. <laughs> You're going to be late for school, Squeegee. I love you, Mother. Today's the most joyful day of my life. I'll call him Suichi. <laughs> You know, maybe I've gone a bit too far this time. Huh? Hold on, his spirit energy's completely vanished. That's not supposed to happen! <gasps> what the...? Do you feel that too? Ago, the spirit fox, Yoko Kurama, was thought to have been killed while escaping from a botched burglary. In desperation, he hid himself in your world. Using a human body to slowly recover his energy, he thought no one would find him. I did. <laughs> so you're telling me this is him? <laughs> That's very funny, eh? <laughs> I heard boogeyman stories about Yoko in lockdown, and this red-haired princess ain't it. You want me to believe you're the real legend? You're gonna have to get out of that skin! I cannot do that. This is a merger, not a possession, and I can no more separate from my current human biology than you can from your cute conky horns. Convenient excuse! We're about to storm King Yama's most guarded vault, and you can't prove you're not some human kid playing pretend. I don't like it. Why don't you settle it, then? If you don't trust his abilities, then fight him and see. <laughs> That's why I'm running with you, Hiei. You're always keeping it simple. Yeah, I'll just have to crush him. Huh? It is true, I'm not as strong as before. But... I've also acquired priorities to protect. I'm glad to show you what those new priorities can make me do. If you care to try. Ha! We going on a date? Rose, we, we... Just joking. I'm sure you'll be fine to work with for a while. Now, we'll see what the purest form of Karama can do. <laughs> Let's see. How best shall I deal with my prey? I'm barely making out 
up two silhouettes in the center of the ring, which I can only assume are the combatants. But the voice I've just picked up with my ears doesn't quite sound like either of them. What in the world is going on? Has another fighter entered the ring now? And what about Jury? She's still not reporting. Has she been a casualty in this shrouded fight? Will I be forced to replace her in the ring? Wait, I'm here. Is it snack time yet, Mama? Okay, people. This is ridiculous. In addition to a new fighter, there seems to be a small child in the ring, too. Kurama is 